Not really. I have no idea what, why you're saying this, but one thing for sure. At the end of today's conversation, you will have clarity about the best Chase credit card for you. I guarantee it. Welcome back, folks, to another edition of the Awesome Story Kiwi Show. How are you today? I hope you are doing fantastic. I'm doing marvelous, if you are to ask me. If you are doing as great as I am, go grab a cup of coffee or tea or vodka and let's roll. In today's conversation, I want to talk to you about the best cheese credit card for you. Depending on your credit profile, depending on your financial proof, your financial situation, okay? Let's first start with bad or fair credit. If you happen to be in that category right now in your life, I want you to consider the Chase Freedom Student credit card. Now, you don't have to be 18 to 22 years old to actually qualify for this credit card. As long as you are enrolled in, a, in a, an academic program, a vocational program, some kind of training, you're doing it, evening classes, whatever, you can qualify for, for this credit card, okay? You can earn 1% cash back on all purchases plus $20 good standing rewards after each account anniversary year for up to five years, five years, okay? And uh, you have, uh, what we love with this card is that the regular APR is really decent. You have 14.99% variable. And uh, this card comes with more perks and protections than similar cards, including a generous sign-up bonus and trip cancellation insurance program. And the card, guess what? The card has no annual fee. So that's a great card, not only for, for students, for, young, for youngsters, but also for adults who want to who want to benefit from this card and are enrolled in a in a vocational program or educational program okay and one thing you need to understand is that when you think about this card remember you can earn a credit limit increase after making five monthly payments on time within 10 months from account opening when meeting credit criteria and uh, this card is not an unsecured it's not a secured card because chase does not provide secure credit cards so it is unsecured they're not asking you for a deposit okay so just make sure that you automate things on your end so that you are making payments on time every every time okay and instead of making one payment let's say on the 28th or the 30th of the month you want to make like four payments like one payments every week smaller payments smaller payments so that you never miss your your minimum payments this is important okay so this card is best for students who don't meet the credit requirements for other Chase credit cards, and but it, it is not really a, a great choice if you are trying to uh, if you're trying to get rewards. Let's say cashback. There are other cards that actually will give you more cashbacks. Okay, but we love the fact that with this card, cashback rewards do not expire as long as your account is open. Now the cashback rewards are not that much compared to other credit cards, but it's still something. The second card I want you to think about if you are in a bad or fair credit category is uh, the Chase Freedom Flex card, okay? And uh, by the way, before I forget, one thing I need to say is that if you have, uh, it, it really helps to have a strong relationship, a strong banking relationship with Chase, so that even if you have a fair or bad credit, you can still qualify because they are seeing your cash inflows. They are seeing your cash position with them. You wanna have deposit accounts with them. Checking accounts, savings accounts, CDs, certificate of deposits. You want to have MMAs, money market accounts. If you have, a, if you have some investments, you want to park your investments with Chase Brokerage uh, Services. This is really good. Okay, so you want to try that as well. So the Chase Freedom Flex is kind of cool because you earn, you can, you can actually earn cash back in multiple categories. You don't have to be a student. <laughs> you have to go to school. No, 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 no. You can earn five percent cash back on up to fifteen hundred dollars in combined purchases in bonus categories each quarter you activate the whole thing here is that you need to activate so those are rotating categories okay and so you can enjoy new five percent categories each quarter five percent cashback on travel purchased through chase ultimate rewards okay we're talking here you, you can actually redeem the rewards for cashback travel gift cards and more okay you have three percent cashback on drugstore purchases and dining at restaurants including takeout and eligible uh, delivery service and we love the fact that you also can earn unlimited 1% cash back on all other purchases. And guess what? They even have a, a great intro offer, which is $200. This is really good. And this card has no annual fee. Think about it. And the APR, decent. You're looking at 14.99% to 23.74%. 
This is really good. So if you are in the good, if you are in the bad or fair credit category, you might want to go for this card, especially if you're not a student, okay? Because the Chase Freedom Flex, the Chase Freedom Student is for students, as the name implies, but the Chase Freedom Flex is for everyone, okay? And so here are the card details that you might want to think about. So obviously you, you can earn a $200 bonus after you spend $500 on purchases in your first three months from account opening. This is really good. So you have the 5% cash back on travel, 5% cash back on up to $1,500 in combined purchases in bonus categories that you activate in the, in the categories that you activate. Okay. And, um, one thing I, we really love after analyzing this card is that you have 0% intro APR for 15 months from account opening on purchases. And guess what? And balance transfers. Then you have a, a variable APR of uh, 14.99 to 23.74 percent. So this is really good. So this card is great for a card holder who wants strong cashback rates across a multitude of categories. If you happen to have good credit, <laughs> this is really good. If you have if you have good credit. There is, you want to target the Chase Freedom Unlimited. This is a, a wonderful card. This is just a wonderful card because the card allows you to enjoy 5% cashback on travel purchased through Chase Ultimate Rewards, 3% cashback on drugstore purchases and dining at restaurants, including takeout and eligible delivery service, and you can earn 1.5% cashback on all other purchases, okay? So this is really good. And uh, the APR is good as well. You have 14.99% to 23.74%. Okay, so at the end of the day, you can you get a, a great cashback rewards rate for a zero dollar annual fee with this card, and it's good for financing large purchases because you are getting, in essence, zero percent intro APR for the first fifteen months of card ownership. Think about that, and after that, as I said before, fourteen ninety nine to twenty three point seventy four. This is decent, really. This is really decent, and the card offers substantial benefits like trip cancellation interruption insurance. Okay, if you're traveling, you know exactly what that means. It's really important and the card has no annual fee it has no annual fee now the only thing is that they do have a three percent foreign transaction fee which is kind of crazy because why would you have that but yeah you know don't ask me i mean i just believe that this is something that they could they could change uh but yeah the card carries a three percent foreign transaction fee so when we talk about foreign transaction fee we're not just talking about when you travel overseas no you can be here in the united states you can be here right now in your in your in your home somewhere in uh, in oklahoma and if you charge if you buy from a foreign website and the transaction is not denominated in uh, u.s dollars in other words if the transaction is uh, denominated in a, in a foreign currency you are going to be charged a foreign transaction fee so be be, be very be very careful here okay and what are some of the car details that we love the there are there is no minimum to redeem for cashback so you can choose to receive a stipend credit or direct deposit into most u.s checking and savings account and cashback rewards do not expire as long as your account is open so you have the intro apr for purchases and uh, balance transfers zero percent for 15 months this is really good and you basically can also keep tabs on your credit health through chase credit journey that helps you monitor your credit with free access to your latest score real-time alerts and more okay so overall in our view this card is great for you if you want a well-rounded consistent cashback card i want to talk to you if you are the lucky one or among the lucky ones and you have excellent credit in other words, you have 740 and above. You might want to consider the Chase Sapphire Preferred. As a matter of fact, this card actually, you can actually apply for it even if you have good credit and you have a strong relationship with Chase at the banking level, okay? But if you have excellent credit, the Chase Sapphire Preferred is a great card, a wonderful card, okay? You actually, this is great for all around travel. You have 5X on travel purchase through Chase Ultimate Rewards, 3X on dining, and 2X on all other travel purchases plus more. And they have an intro offer of 60,000 points. There's a, the card carries an annual fee of $95, okay? But it's, you can definitely offset this, this cost, okay? And um, the regular APR is kind of decent also. You have 15.99% to 22.99%. So 15.99 to 22.99%. And so if you're looking for a travel card that will offer you some premium perks, but can just, but cannot justify the 550 annual fee for the Chase Sapphire Reserve, this card provides a solid alternative. 
So as a card holder, you will earn a rewards at a high rate and you will have a flexible redemption option for a reasonable annual fee of $95. Okay, so the good thing is that the points you earn will transfer to travel partners at a one-to-one -one rate. This is really good. And this card offers many travel and shopping protections. Okay. And the only thing we don't like with this card is that there is no introductory APR period on purchases or balance transfers. You don't have that. And uh, so and the card also lacks, in our view, some premium travel perks like free check bags and lounge access. You know, those are things that you might want to, if you love this, those the perks, then you, you're not going to get that with this Chase Sapphire Preferred, okay? But the bottom line here is that you can earn 60,000 bonus points after you spend $4,000 on purchases in the first three months from account opening. So that's 750 when you redeem through Chase Ultimate Rewards. You can see that you can see that based on, the, on, our, on our calculation that this automatically offset more than offsets the $95 annual fee you would have paid, right? And you can enjoy benefits such as $50 annual Ultimate Rewards hotel credit, 5x on the travel purchase through Chase Ultimate Rewards, 3x on dining and 2x on all other travel purchases plus more. You get 25% more value when you redeem for airfare, hotels, car rentals, and cruises through Chase Ultimate Rewards. Okay, this is really good. And uh, with uh, Pay Yourself Back, your points are worth 25% more during the current during the current introductory offer. And uh, if you redeem them for statement credits against existing purchases in select rotating categories, so this is really good. And we love the, we love the fact that you have a trip cancellation and eruption insurance, auto rental, damage waiver lost luggage insurance and more so this card is great for someone who likes to travel but doesn't want to shell out a high annual fee so if you don't want to shell out for a how a high annual fee then go with the chase sapphire preferred but if you are willing to pay for more, you want to go for the Chase Sapphire Reserve, okay? And this card is way superior. It's way, uh, it's, it's really above all other cards. And so this is the best for the luxury travel that you are, the travel experience that you want. You earn 10x total points on hotels and car rentals when you purchase, when you purchase through Chase Ultimate Rewards. You have 5x total points on air travel through Chase Ultimate Rewards. You earn 3x points on air travel and dining, and you earn 1 points per dollar spent on all other purchases, okay? So they have an intro an intro offer of 50,000 points. The annual fee is kind of steep though, very high, 550. The regular APR is 16, 69.9% to 23.99%, okay? So one thing I want to say right off the bat is that at first glance, this $550 annual fee may seem steep, but this card comes with a lot of uh, with a constellation of benefits okay and the card makes up for for the, the the high fee with first class features like special benefits at select luxury hotels and resorts and access to vip airport lounges with the priority pass select okay so this card is great as a great option for travelers who want access to luxury perks and can recoup the annual fee via the rewards okay so this is really good and so card holders can earn up to 10 points per dollar on hotels and car rentals when making purchases through the for, through the Chase Ultimate Rewards portal, and uh, car holders can get up to $300 credit for travel expenses each year. And one thing I want to say here is that if you are an you, if you don't travel that much, you definitely want to stay away from this card. You don't want the card because this is a card that that is uh, beneficial to you if you are a frequent traveler. Frequent. You are on the road a lot. You fly a lot. Okay. And uh, one thing I want to say here is that you can earn 50,000 points, bonus points. Okay. After you spend $4,000 on purchases in the first three months from account opening. So that's basically $750 toward travel when you redeem through Chase Ultimate Rewards. Okay. And you have a $300 annual travel credit as a reimbursement for travel purchases charged to your card each account anniversary year. So this already is, is uh, bringing down the 550 annual fee. So this is really good and you have access to more than 1300 airport lounges worldwide after an easy one-time enrollment in priority pass select and up to a hundred dollars application fee credit for global entry or tsa pre-check so this is here you have it so 
The card overall is great for frequent travelers who want to get the most out of their vacation experiences. I'll be right back right after this, don't go anywhere. Welcome back, folks, to another session of the Awesome Sweaty Kiwi Show. We also having a conversation today about uh, the Chase credit cards. What's the best Chase credit cards for you? And uh, I want to talk about Southwest fans. If you are Southwest fans like me, and you enjoy the experience, there are some credit cards from Chase that you that there are some cool branded credit cards from Chase that you will love. For example, we have the Southwest Rapid Rewards Plus. This is a great credit card. And this is the best Southwest starter card, okay? You can earn 2x points on Southwest purchases, 2x points on local transit and commuting, including ride share, 2x points on internet, cable, phone services, and select streaming. And you earn one point for every dollar spent on all other purchases. And the cool thing about this card is that you basically have an intro offer that allows you to earn 40,000 points, okay? Obviously, there is a, an annual fee of $69, but the APR is kind of decent. You have a 16% to 23%. It's really good. And uh, so, although lacking luxury level perks, the card does earn two points per dollar spent on Southwest purchases and one point per dollar spent on all other purchases. So, this really gives you an opportunity to gain experience with travel rewards, okay? Especially if you are a Southwest fan. And the card also provides 3,000 bonus points each card member anniversary and no seat restrictions or blackout dates. So this is really good. You do have some perks here. So so uh, the card offers the lowest annual fee on any Southwest credit card and you have fair rewards rate on a Southwest airline purchases. So the whole thing here is that this is a great card. It's a great entry card, okay? It's a starter card if you're a Southwest fan. Obviously, the card does not have any introductory APR period offer on purchases or balance transfers. And the card does have a, a 3% foreign transaction fee so watch out for that okay and but overall this is a great card that you earn you you earn forty thousand bonus points after spending one thousand dollars on purchases in the first three months okay first three months you gotta spend that that amount and you'll receive three thousand anniversary points each year this is really cool and we love the fact that all points that you earn will count toward your com your companion pass it's really good so this card is best for loyal southwest flyers looking to get started with an airline card okay you got to be because this card wants you to fly through southwest okay and one thing you also need to understand is that you get two early bird check-ins each year so this is really cool another southwest card that you might want to think about is the southwest rapid rewards priority card this is a great card and this is the best overall southwest card because it allows you to earn 3x points on Southwest purchases, 2x points on local transit and commuting, including ride share purchases, 2x points on internet, cable, phone services, and select streaming. Overall, you can earn actually 40,000 points. Okay, the, the annual fee is kind of high here though $149. The APR goes from 16% to 23%. And what we love is that this card is a solid choice especially if you're trying to upgrade your travel experience through Southwest, okay? You get 25% cash back on uh, in-flight purchases, on in-flight drinks and Wi-Fi, and up to four upgraded boardings per year, obviously depending on uh, availability, okay? So this will actually, um, this, is, this is worth it. Based on our analysis, the $149 you're paying in annual fee is totally worth it. It's totally worth it, okay? Because the card, as a matter of fact, offers a generous anniversary bonus, and the card also carries no foreign transaction fees. This is really good. And uh, but there is no introductory APR period offered. Okay. So if you want to earn the forty thousand bonus points, you need to spend one thousand dollars on purchases in the first three months, and you receive a seventy five hundred anniversary points, like seventy five hundred anniversary points each year. You earn three X points on Southwest purchases. Okay. And we love the fact that you receive actually. $75 Southwest travel credit each year. So think about it. If they're charging you an annual fee of $149 and Southwest is giving you $75 every month, every year rather, every year, this is basically like the, like the, the annual fee comes to $60 or whatever, $60 or $70, sorry, $70 or $75. 
and there are other ways you can offset that amount and bring it down even lower okay and you have four upgraded boardings per year when available and uh, so overall this card is actually great for southwest flyers looking for the top of the line options okay if you're looking for the premium options you're looking for stellar experience this is the card for you and this card is unique because you will get 7500 bonus points worth a 75 dollar travel credit from southwest each year and also all points earn count toward companion pass a valuable addition to the rewards so this is really good something you need to think about the third card i want you to consider if you are if you have a if you are a southwest fan is uh, the southwest rapid rewards premier card and this is another great card and that we love here and uh, it's basically it's a mid-tier it's in the middle between the southwest rewards plus and the southwest rapid rewards priority okay so you have the premier is actually between the plus and the priority obviously with the priority being on top being on top and the plus being at the bottom so with this card actually you earn 3x points on southwest purchases 2x points on local transit and commuting including a ride share 2x points on internet cable phone services and select streaming and so overall you actually earn 40,000 bonus points after spending $1,000 on purchases in the first three months okay and uh, one thing you want to you want to overall here is that the card actually has an annual fee of $99 so really important to think about that and take that into consideration the regular APR oscillates from uh, 15.99% to 22.99%, so that's 16 to 23%. Okay, and uh, so if you're looking for, let's say, if you're looking for a middle ground between basic and, and uh, an upper tier airline card, this could be a great fit. So this is really good, and the rewards, benefits, and perks match up really well with the $99 annual fee, as long as you fly Southwest. So you gotta be a Southwest flying aficionado in the first place. Okay, this is really good, and uh, the card actually. Um, the card actually allows you to do a lot of things. You are, you have two early birds uh, check-ins every single year. Okay, and uh, one thing I want to say also is that just make sure that you are you sign up for the Chase uh, Journey Credit Journey app that allows you to see how you're doing in terms of FICO score. Because obviously we are talking about travel credit cards here, but the the your limits, your credit limits will depend upon your FICO score among other things. So the higher your credit, the the higher your FICO, the higher your credit limits will be. So this is important. So this card, the Southwest Rapid Rewards Premier, is great for Southwest regulars who want a little more than a little more value than what's offered by the Rapid Rewards Plus. As I said before, this card is actually in the middle. So if you think about the Southwest Rapid Rewards Plus as being one, the Rapid Rewards Premier is number two, and the Rapid Rewards Priority is number three. Before closing today's conversation, folks, I want to talk about, so the, the, this whole topic is what? How do you choose the best Chase credit card for you? One thing you need to understand is that you can always apply for a, ch for a Chase credit card online, on the phone, or at a branch, okay? You need to understand, so you, you want to start that. You want to, uh, if there is a soft pool available, you want to go for the soft pool. Normally, Chase has, so they do have soft pool available based on the state you're applying from or your credit history or your browsing history because they sometimes they do soft pool based on the browsing history you have, okay? And you want to go for the soft pool first so that you can limit the hard inquiries on your credit report and make sure that you understand that credit card applications do affect your credit especially if you decide to, to uh, sign the promissory note or to uh, if you to sign the credit card agreement rather okay because the promissory note that's for for a loan but what i want to say here is that you are you have options when it comes to applying for a chase credit card and on top of that you need to understand how the whole process works how does the whole process work so if you have a south pool apply for the south pool get the the offer from chase if you like the offer go ahead and sign for it okay so you can get the card as, as soon as possible if you don't like the offer just ignore it 
Now, if you don't have a soft pull, you're gonna have to do. Uh, you're gonna have to apply uh, right away and get a hard pull. But remember that if you put in the right information, you should be fine. So they will need your full legal name, your social security number, and or ITIN. ITIN stands for Individual Tax Identification Number. Your mailing address, your gross annual income. So that's your your pre-tax income. Your employment status this is important. So this will identify whether you are employed, unemployed, or self-employed. Okay. And your housing costs, so that Chase can actually determine your DTI, your debt to income ratio, among other things. Your phone number, okay, because uh, Chase wants to actually verify your, uh, your your phone number, okay. So if you want to apply for a credit card online, a Chase credit card online, please, you want to determine your credit health, do your research. So maybe that maybe Chase is not for you, okay. Maybe they're and remember that they they also have something called the 524 rule. So if you already have a two or three or four credit cards from Chase, you may not qualify for a, for a fifth one. Okay, so it's important to do your research. You want to pull together all of the required information, and uh, you you want to uh, submit your application. Now we believe on this show that it's always better to apply at a branch as opposed to applying on the phone or applying uh, online. So this is something you need to understand. But the bottom line is that if you apply for a credit card, your credit score will be affected in a little bit because you're going to have a hard pull that will ding your credit score by 10 points or 15 points within a few uh, a few days or weeks. But after that, everything comes back to normal. OK, Th this is what it is with the hard, uh, hard inquiries. <laughs> All right, folks. So today's conversation, I was just talking to you about what is the best Chase credit card for you. So if you have bad or fair credit, you want to go for the Chase Freedom Student or the Chase Freedom Flex card. If you have good credit, you want to go for the Chase Freedom Unlimited card. If you have excellent credit, you want to go for the Chase Sapphire Preferred or the Chase Sapphire Razor card. Okay. If you are a Southwest fan, you want to go for the Southwest Rapid Rewards Plus the Rapid Rewards Priority, or the Rapid Rewards Premier. Thank you so much for your attention. I really appreciate it. I'll see you next time. But until then, remember, stay marvelous.